after game one. His shot wasn't fun, but I thought he was really good defensively yeah. in that first game. Tonight his shot fell. Yeah. For, for him, is it just kind of growing on the, the pace of the game and what he learned last year? Are you seeing those things that you guys want to see? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't worried about his shots last game. Uh, they were good looks, and today you see four out of five. We knew he was going to bounce back. We talked to him about that, that those are going to go. Um, I thought last game was a great example of how you can impact winning when, when you're not scoring, when you're not shooting it well. Because some nights your shot's not going to fall and you still got to bring something to the group. And I thought last game was a great example for the rest of the team, all the young guys, of like how you do that when your shot's not going. He seemed like he was very communicative defensively. Um, is that something with the young guys that you guys as coaches have to really kind of get on? Yeah. Uh, and for him, obviously, shows he's been in the league at least here. Yeah, we emphasize it with everybody. Livers, he, he came in with that a little bit. I don't know if it was because of Coach Beeline. I, I'm not going to give him credit on that. <laughs> but he came in with that. He communicates, he points, he talks. Um, he, lead, he leads the way for us with his voice, for sure. Obviously, unfortunate uh, injury for uh, Ivy, but just in those opening five minutes of 11 points, what did you see from him from an aggression standpoint? Yeah, I thought, I thought you saw him a little bit more comfortable at the start of the game, already from game one to game two, just the pace. Um, we wanted to give him a little bit more space to operate and use his quickness. And I thought um, I thought you already saw this game slowing down a little bit for him. I know they've been two games, but uh, what, how you did try to film with Jaden doing I've been, I've been thrilled with the way he's playing. Again, he missed training camp with us, so he's learning on the fly, um, super coachable. And I think when he's in the game, I think you can feel it. You can feel it in the gym. They're not as likely to try to attack the rim. Um, and then he's just a constant lob threat. Every time he's on the floor, you gotta, the, he spaces the floor because he's a, he's, a, he's a lob threat every time he rolls. So I've been, I've been ecstatic with, with the way he's way he's playing and the way that he's taking coaching. What's the concern level on James Ingram? Um, I I don't think it's too concerned, but I, I have to talk to I don't I have an update for you guys. I haven't talked to medical about it. And Jalen's was just kind of a he's, he's yes, right. same. I don't got nothing for you guys. You just do Double plays. negative. You do plays. Uh, obviously, uh, Killian no go today. Was that the kind of the plan with him? Just only maybe yeah. play a game or two. Yeah, that was the plan. Um, just to give a guy like Jaden and Saban more opportunity to, to get some minutes and some good reps that they need to get. Um, I give Isaiah Stewart a ton of credit um, for playing and just wanting to lead by example. And I, you know, his team follows that. He just he just always works, always wants to compete, always wants to play, and that's contagious to the group. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's tough. You want you don't want to limit someone's creativity and and what makes them special as a player, but you also want to emphasize the fundamentals and you know playing off two feet, two to one passing. All that's important. Um, but when you're playing at that pace, a lot of times your instincts take over, and and that's what makes you know Jaden special. So. We talked about the comfort level with Isaiah Stewart shooting the three, but he made the two in the last game and the one uh, down the stretch today. It's just he, he's confident in that yeah. shot. More comfortable and confident are probably equally as important in, in him developing and being yeah. uh, consistent in that. Yeah, like I said yesterday, he's confident in it. We're confident in it. Um, part of the reason, you know, he wanted to play and when we wanted to work on with him was to get some game reps at the floor and, and to, to get some threes off. And you saw that he was he was hunting him a little bit, but that's what we wanted. That's that's what, you know, that was one of our objectives for him coming in to summer league. And I thought he showed that that he has that. Um, but we we've already known that. So Jalen had Jalen had three assists and I think he was like five to seven inches in yeah. the yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who you know who anticipate because we, I think we took him for a reason and we we, we thought he had that. Um, in his draft workout, he showed that. Um, he's shown it in the last c practice, and we 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 known he had that. That's why that's why we liked him. Well, I was going to piggyback on that. You know, specifically that the key cut pass and the move during games. Yeah. I can't remember who it was. Yeah. That's going to be pretty developed. Yeah. For a, 
young yeah, big man. For sure, for sure. But there's there's clips of him in college doing it. There's clips in because I remember when we prepped for our pre-draft workout with him, when they sent us the film, I saw that that same play. So he he was doing that. He was doing that. I thought we moved the ball, ball really well. We had uh, 23 assists, and that was a point of emphasis was to get off the ball. I thought we dribbled it, pounded it too much last game. I um, thought we did a really good job playing with the .5 mentality, moving the ball, generating open looks. We made 14 threes, shot almost 50% from three. So I thought it was just the ball movement and just the mentality of good to great passes.